Holland Track lies in the heart of the gold fields in Western Australia. In the 1800s, it went almost as far as the south coast and would see dreamers walk north for months with nothing but their wheelbarrows and backpacks, hoping to find their fortune during the gold rush. In search of fortune, many would instead perish in the desert heat, never to make it off the Holland Track. Today, what remains of this track is signposted and well worn in. We're only going to follow the track halfway before we turn off for the real adventure. We will try to embody the spirit of the early explorers by making our own tracks through virgin scrub, across salt lakes and through dry riverbeds all the way to the south coast and onto the beach. I feel like I'm already there. Yeah. So, Thursday Rock Road. No, it's Victoria Rock Road. Victor oh, Victoria Rock which, which Road. Which goes to Thursday Thir Rock. <laughs> which goes to Thursday Rock. That, that's a bit confusing. And so that'll take us to the top end of the Holland Track. Then what? Yeah, uh, so we'll, we'll go to these, these salt lakes and surely there, there'll be a way between the salt lakes. You know, there's always a track around salt lakes. Yeah. And see if we can overland it, 90 mile tank, and then take the track to Pete Charles. Brim range, that could be interesting. Flying so if that's there. got any elevation from there, we can just look out for that. Yeah. yeah. So all well, that'll be um, pretty straightforward. Yeah, that's the unknown. And then, yeah, work our way between, worst case, we go around Yeah. Uh, until we get, get to this track down here, uh, whatever that is. Yeah. Um, uh, that's the... It's pretty much, pretty much just south from there, so it can't, yeah. can't be too hard and then yeah, just follow whatever track seems the most south. And go and wash off at the beach. Wash off at the beach, catch a fish. Mm. Beautiful. Dad, you there? Yeah, gotcha. All right, beginning the Holland track. Let's go find some adventure. I would say it's a good thing you got that raised from suspension on there because you cleared absolutely everything. Yeah, I've got 33. <laughs> Oop, hole coming up. Can't really see it much from here, how deep is it? I'll let you go first. Yeah, I may as well make sure the winch is working before we hit the salt lake. I mean, I did make this winch cradle myself, so it'd be nice to know that the welds are still holding up before we've got to rely on it. Subterranean automobile, here we go. There's the canopy off the sides, it's uh, almost scraping. Which way are they going?
Yeah, yeah. I put my hubs in. Oh, you did. Yeah. Look how much that yeah, yeah. I've just sunk. That's all. We'll winch it. I'm just waiting for a mate. You ready? At this halfway point, we break away from the Holland track for our own adventure. We don't like to know too much about where we're going as it removes a lot of the unknown and takes out some of the thrill. We have a basic map and a rough heading and that's about it. We're headed to what looks like a system of salt lakes with the hope that we can find our way through. There's only one way to find out now. He is pretty good. Yeah. If you look off um, to the east, there's a, there's a peak there. Southern Cross oh, yeah, was there yeah, last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. That must be Mount Day. And if you consider that Peak Charles is supposedly visible from 50 k's in any direction, we're at elevation, so it should be visible. So that peak is the furthest that peak one, that we can yeah. see, which means it looks like we're between two salt lakes and go down there. But that brings us, that's just, a peninsula on this one salt yeah. lake and then we'll get stuck so we need to go around unless you want that. to try and get across that bit no so i think we need to go all the way around that and then off in the distance there's probably just you can see just a little bit of the next salt lake it's not quite yeah. visible that's that lake hope or whatever according to the stars last night yeah south celestial south pole yeah. is that way so that's about right you, you don't want to try and get down and flog straight across the salt lakes no. No. All right. So back, back track, up the track, back. Yep. And then just yep. figure it out. All right. Let's do it. All right. That's a track. Should I deviate? No, water course, never mind. Is it just runoff? It looks like it's just runoff. Yeah, just a just a bit of runoff. Yeehaw, we made it to the salt lake. So we'll shackle that and that to that 
and the halfway thing can wrap around on the car. But yeah. Why can't I use this hand to wrap around the car? If you're worried about grease and crap, I'll take this one and you can have the clean one. No, I'm not worried about grease and crap. That's what these are for. There's all sorts of like hornets and wasps showing up for the um, for the moisture that's now presented itself. Bloody stinks, can tell you that much. But if the strap makes it easier. No, I just thought it would need the length it sends you move back. Oh, Jesus, what's going on here? You've got a fair length. Do you have any sort of recovery point here, Dad? Well, smell's not dissipating at all. No, it's not, it's not. <laughs> no idea where this bugger is. Oh, it's down there somewhere. Yeah, oh well, it's just I can hear the wind starting to the protest. Uh, Hang on, I'll just press all these buttons. And then yeah, just keep it a nice and idle.
What do you want to do?